Hi everyone, welcome back to the cabin. Um, I did a video the other day showing the cordless power tools I've got and I've brought over for the first time to try the uh, cordless power pack chainsaw, so that's it. I've brought another spare power pack as well because I don't know how long this will last before it goes flat because I've never really tried this. Uh, so, so that's a chainsaw obviously. So like I say, I bought it from the uh, Aldi. So we'll see how we go with it. And uh, I'll catch you a bit further on in the video. Sign is it? Now, first of all, I will say it's pretty powerful. I've not struggled with it. Now, the reason why it's conked out a couple of times for me is, I don't know if you can see this, to turn it on, you've got to press that button back and then press that. But if you take your thumb just slightly off it on tight, as in the throttle, if you know what I mean, then it conks out. So that's the only drawback I would say about it so far. But I think that's more me not knowing how to use it. So more I use it, I think better it will be. So we'll have to keep trying and see how we go.
stopping for some reason. I don't know why. Does it feel warm? It's a stop, it keeps stopping, I don't know why. Now the battery says it's half full, so unless it's overheating, no way to fly. Feels a bit warm. I'm going to change the power pack and see if that makes a difference. I can only think, now with that power pack, I'm going to show you something now, now hopefully you can see. This is, these are the power packs, right, but as you, if you can see, it's got two signal on it, but that should be enough easily to keep power in it. But to be honest with you, the battery is very warm. Now this is one of the older batteries of the um, impact drill. So it is an older battery, but it does feel very, very warm. So obviously, now I've changed the battery, it's kicked straight in with no problems at all. So we'll keep going. I'll probably finish maybe on this piece for today because I've already got quite a bit of wood in at the cabin already in the extension. So we'll just finish this and see how we go. I would say, while I've been cutting that last lot, it's been conking out, starting, conking out, starting. But to be honest with you, it's getting very, very warm. I can feel the warm off it, plus bits of steam's coming off it as well. So it might actually be that the chain oil's running low. No, there is some chain oil still in it. Um, oh, look, at the battery on this is getting warm as well. So I would say it's a very good chainsaw. I'm going to use it all the time. I think it is very good, and I do mean that. I will be using it as my first choice because it will cut me down on costs with the petrol chainsaw. But the only thing with it, after this video, I'm looking at the clock on this video and I've been filming for exactly 14 minutes, three seconds. So if you take away two minutes of me nattering away at the beginning, so you're talking 12 minutes of virtually continuous running and it's getting hot. So, but I do like it, honestly, I do like it. So listen, I will catch you all in a bit. And I'll have a natter with you in a minute. I'll just put all this away and then we'll have a natter. I'm back. I've stacked all the wood up. Uh, it's done quite a lot. Uh, like I say, it only conked out in the end because the actual chainsaw and the batteries were getting hot. So I'm going to show you what I've cut. Hold on.
Hi everyone, welcome back. I've just split the wood, some of the wood that I cut over there with that chainsaw. So I've cut that. Now before I go for today, I just wanted to tell you something. That electric chainsaw, a bit out of breath, that's all. That electric chainsaw, I really do like it, right? Now what I've found with it, is the batteries were overheating quickly. And I found out when the batteries got hot, it would make the chainsaw stop going round. The other thing was, with a petrol chainsaw, you're holding the handle and then you've got your throttle that you do. Now you can, if you lift it up, obviously it's full power. But even if you let your finger relax, which over time it will, because you're tired as you're going on doing it, then even if you take that bit of pressure off, it's still got a good speed going through and you can cut your wood. With that electric chainsaw, I found that if I took my finger just gently off the throttle, then it stopped. So you've got to tightly have it on to make it go. And the other thing, when I've come back, I've put both them batteries on charge. Now when I put them on charge, one started taking charge straight away, the new battery, and the older battery was very hot, like I said it was, and it wouldn't take charge, the warning lights come on. So I'm gonna to have to let that go cold, uh, and then I'm, I'll try and put it on charge again. So I can't see the battery being damaged. I just think the battery's overheated. So, so that's about it. So thank you for joining me today. And I would recommend the chain. So I keep saying that because I really would. I like it, mate. And I'll see you all in the next video.